So running Brutal Doom on checks with the previous versions didn't do anything really, just ran, uh, ran blood spots and bullet things that were really glitchy. But now, we get Brutal Checks Quest, the hidden game. Where you're the Doom guy blowing the crap out of Flamoid instead of the original video this was based on, an out of character press check for killing everything in sight. So, this probably started with positive reaction to the Brutal Checks Quest Flamoid Genocide April Fool prank. He decided, whoa, oh, this is really popular, why don't I make that real? And then maybe after a bit of playing Samsara, you chose to just use Doom Guy as your character instead of making Fred Texter seem like a murderer. So now I am. Oh, wait, so now you can blow Flamoids apart, shoot their heads, and make it explode. Two sprays of free goo. But beware, the blood weights are here much, 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 much tougher than they used to be. Now they have spread shots and other deadly techniques, and they're pretty uh, hard to deal with when they're firing, but they're flat cannons, so you can take them out easily, you just gotta take them up before they pick up and move them with the numbers of them, that's harder than to do at first, so you're. And when you do get killed, you get dissolved by Flint White Sludge. And I always thought of the sludge as recently sinking in and suffocating to death, and then sludge projectiles being like a form so apparently served at Mark IV at a different division. Now, our all the uh, usual Brutal Doom weapon and stuff are present due to the new strikes being added to the wad completely overhaul or replace everything about the original internal lot files and in order to refine them quite a bit further. And with free doom there the free doom enemy replaces the normal doom enemy, but check plus get special compatibility. It also tests on harmony and the enemies weren't changed either. So Somebody should tell me if this runs with hacks, because I can't run this on deep, they turn easy doom, and hacks the not run run yet. So, I really think he could think a hack is different enough that he should do a separate brutal hack, like what he's doing for hexes, but only might work. So, they're much, much tougher. I always imagine if they were ever hanging on to death, they'd be breather enemies in joke mode. Now I see some genuinely tough game like that spit. One more. Set, yeah. Chicken cheese. Salt. Just the salt. Look at that squish attack. Yes. Corpses can be squished by doors. I. Hard for you to run to that check us because enemies just vanish. And you can even run the debug mode to. Spawn looks. I mean, when I'm spawning the Flamoidus Rhydicus, and you have something any glitch enemy that looks like a normal demon, but is the sounds of a Flamoid. Yeah, I wondered how these multiple replacement monsters in the Chex Plus series work in Chex Plus 3. That determines how the monster looks like, especially with multi game P wad like this that outer check space to work in the much darker world of the other game. It's so hard I had to say. There's something out here. Fighting your Not even in media to really stay people that fast. Now I'm fighting swarms and someone and in normal apparently both these assault rifles akimbo. And yes, the uh, MP40 man for this flame cannon and revenant launch for all that. And there is also the ability to use the uh, original Doom weapon. But maybe it's Google Doom's visual effects. Take uh, me original. Some people were complaining that they couldn't hit their own weapon, so they were playing just a lot of extra challenge. Yeah. Slow 
blowing up Flamoids, blowing up Flamoids. It's even more satisfying to blow up these Flamoids than blowing up the ones that I blew up in Samsara. And even the door catchers can get all twisted And I died again. I think there could be another hidden mode where your lilac and blowing up a bunch of pet scenes and other action name characters. That'd be so fun getting revenge on those dude bros, stupid neck ears. And say I think the best thing that for some good years, but it's absolutely blatantly not. Yeah, action hang over our tigers can jump off the cliff. I don't care if they live or not, they just need to jump off the cliff. Actually, I won't mind if they live, but I do think I want them to live just reconsider the stance on this action hank fiasco. Like, I've written two blog posts concerning that game, and to be honest, the development history of the game actually seems more interesting than the final product. I wrote one blog post on where exactly this on why the game isn't much like Sonic, and I think I'm gonna do one of where exactly did action hank go wrong. Ah, uh, enough about action Hank for the moment. Let's trade on a check quest. So I do like Tracy's Doom guy instead of an out of character Fred Shexter. Sam Sar even stated wasn't willing to kill. Always use non lethal but to resort to them the way to their hopes of it. If I had that evil fighting pure evil creatures like the Doom, and you just saw that it didn't really work with the Psych Flop still more just off the way with like clearly shot him through with an assault rifle and I don't have time for this I gotta go to the next level. You notice that nice demon roar in the back instead of the usual flamoid sounds. Yeah and the flamoids have their individual death cries which also kind of painful is that they're not nearly that bad because he's not used to getting blown apart. But they still kind of deserve it because who definitely wants to wipe that sneer off those annoying buggers and faces? Guy could do it. I was making an additional patch for Sam Sarah that had the phone white speak in the soldier voices from Brutal Doom's earlier versions because they found those to be very effective and scary, but I guess take things into account all over again with Z20. And by the way, I Let's consider making Chex Quest HD monsters D Chex Quests, as in they look like these little darkly realistic and visceral, only gritty graphics of difficult Doom clones. I decided not to do those. Conquering more on making a lilac for Mugan, who is currently in a state where she is stuck in her jump animation. And I'm currently working on getting her required sprites in. Which is gonna take a bit of a while, so be patient. And help me when I ask you for it. So kind of a with your enemies of the game, I think you might try to take the original checks what not see how they work. Blowing up one more to still ludicrously. A ludicrously fun concept years later. It's, it's still a ludicrously fun. I really don't think it's really been years since they've got Sam Sara and start killing Floodboys with Fortis and Company. But now things are. I tried to beat a Floodboy to death. Bad idea, especially when you're low on health because they have such good damage outputs like. Uh, it's not really practical to attack a chain gun when you're low on him. Attack a chain gun hand to hand with less than 50% health. Almost you manage to get some good timing and stun him by kicking him in the clock. Apparently, so. Yeah, so now. I think I might see you on another episode of Brutal Check Squad, but this isn't really like playing more of an expose to the game rather than a walkthrough. And I'm deeply sorry for offending any action Hank fans who might have been watching. This is Nero signing out.